Hi everyone, this is Denise with Autism Ability Advocates Incorporated and we're going to do a fun little project today and this is just a little Christmas door hanger and I'll show you some of the materials we need. So to get started you're definitely going to want some moss. You can get a Spanish moss, this is kind of like a straw feeling to it. I like to get the reindeer moss, it's really light and fluffy. The thing is, it does come in smaller pieces, so you have more gluing to do. Because some of the dye might come off, you might want to use gloves if you don't want to get your hands stained. And then we're going to take, we're going to glue it on to whatever form we use with a tacky glue. You can also use a spray glue or a hot gun glue, but this is easier on my fingers. This takes a little bit longer to dry. Over here, we have some pine cones. Yesterday, I used some glitter paint to spray paint them. You don't have to do that. They can be really pretty colors like a gold. You can leave the branches on or off. And here are some silver ones that I did. Over here, we have some twine and chenille stems and some scissors. You'll need those too. And after we glue on our moss, you can use these to just secure the moss on your form a little bit better or you can use it decoratively, whatever you would like to do. Another thing, you can get little ornaments or even just little pom-poms to add on to your form to fill in all the little holes where you don't have any of the moss. And very important, you need to get your beads. I'm using wood beads today. These beads have a four millimeter hole and they're different sizes. So this is like a 16 millimeter ball size bead and then I have some 20 millimeter ones. You can even go to Hobby Lobby. These are 50% off right now and you can get a garland and this has both sizes on it. Just cut the string and use these beads. Let's come over here. You need something to put it on. So if you want, you can go really natural and just find a stick outside and then glue it on and let some of the sticks still show. You can use a straw wreath. You can use styrofoam and you can even use these wood dowels. That's how I made mine. And these are 12 inch dowels. This is about a 12 inch wreath and this is 14 inches. Now you'll need some twine and this twine is actually about three millimeters. So it fits through the beads and um, you can get whatever colors you want. We can measure or you can guesstimate and you'll need some tape and I'll show you why in a little bit and your scissors again over here. So let's go ahead and get started. So this was one of the dowels that I used and you can see that, but instead of showing you another one of these, I'll go ahead and I'll use this one. And this is the 12 inch wreath. So when I cut my string, we're gonna start with our beads and for the wreath, let me see, about 28 inches long. So you're gonna measure your string you're gonna put some beads on both ends, and then you just tie it in a little knot. Here's what's important though. When you're starting to do your beads, it's gonna be really hard to get it on the end because it might fray a little bit. So you're gonna get some tape, and all you have to do is wrap it around the end, like so. If you use a little bit of tape, it's a little bit easier. So it's like this. And then when you put the, actually what I like to do too, is I also cut off the end. Let's cut off the end so it's nice and sharp and a little bit of an angle. And then you can stick it right through. Of course, this one will be a little bit more difficult. I should have made it go up a little bit more, but there you go. So it takes a little bit of effort, but it's not too bad. And then once you get it in there and you get all your beads in, you take this and you tie it in a knot. That way it doesn't slip out when you have your beads on there. So again, that's what I did with this one. About a 28 inches long um, should be good because this is just gonna hang over the bottom. So you drape it down and then you can just these ones are really cute. They're little Santa Clauses. You pull them both through and it can be different sizes. 
And then so that will be hanging at the bottom. So I have little Santa Clauses on mine, but we also need something to hang it at the top. So you can cut another piece, and this is probably about 24 inches, let me see, 24 inches for the hanging part of it. And I'm gonna just do a little bit differently, but I did do the same thing. I put some tape at the end, I cut it, and I tied it in a knot, just so it doesn't fray. And I'm just gonna tie a little knot at the top, or a bow, whatever you want. I'll do mine in a little bow. And then when you hang it up, you have something to hang it up there. All right, and now the fun part. I won't make you watch me do the whole thing, but I'm gonna give you the idea. So this is the fun part. You just take your glue and you're gonna do, if you want, do the back side first, or you can leave the back side blank. It's totally up to you, but I wanna do both sides of mine. And you are gonna glue right over this. This won't matter. Just get that glue on there. And then you start applying your moss. So again, kind of shake out what doesn't fit and you put your moss on it. I like to count because it's not hot glue. So I count to about 10 and I leave it. And I'll just do one little section here. And then let's see here, get some more glue. And you just start covering the whole thing. I usually would only do, and you can use different colors, or you can all use just one color. So once I have a whole bunch stuck on here, this is when I can use my twine, or I can use a chenille stem. So you can take your twine if you want. Um, you can do this at the very end, or you can do it in the beginning, and you can just tie it on to secure it. No one's really gonna see the string, but if they do, it still looks really cute. So I can tie it on with a little bit of twine, and even if it hangs off, it's gonna stick. So this works perfectly, especially while it's drying. And then later on, you can just cut the ends off very close down to the bottom, or you can leave them hanging out. I gotta hit some better scissors. Hey, Abel, my dog's drinking water. You can probably hear that, that's fine. <laughs> or you could take this twine and look how cute this is. So if this is going to be, let's pretend this was the front. I could take my twine, Abel, <laughs> drinking water. I could maybe twist it on and then I can maybe make it little loops here. There, he's done drinking. and I can make little loops hanging out. So you kind of get the idea, and once you get it all the way around, here's some that I used to secure it. There's some green, I added my pom-poms on there. You can add a little ornament, your pine cones. It's the same kind of thing. If I want to add a pine cone near the bottom, I'm gonna do it after I put all my moss on. So if I had some more moss right here, then I can glue my pine cone on. And when I'm done, I'll try and post a picture of the one I finished. But again, that's what we're doing today. We're gonna to make these cute little door hangers. And if you want, you can keep it on your own door or use it as a gift. Merry Christmas. Hi, so we finished hi. our wreath. Say hi in the camera. Hi. hi, it's bright in here for him. So what I did is I used a lot of this string to wrap around and you can't even tell it's on there. I wrapped it all the way around. There were pieces all over falling off and that's fine. You just keep sticking the glue on. And so again, pieces might fall off, but we're finished. And that's what it looks like when you're done. So again, if there's any gaps or pieces, you don't have to do the back side. but I think it turned out pretty good. What do you think, Dustin? Do you like it? Thumbs up. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>